my god, so today, today is Wednesday, my dudes. Today is a day where we put together everything we've been practicing for the past few months. So things like drilling and uh, probing and manual dexterity and all that. Last day we uh, started drilling this thing. So see how there's different layers here? There's white, yellow, and then it gets orangish and then, then red. It kind of represents your enamel, dentine, deeper dentine, and then your pulp here. So this is my current setup. My learner prep model, glasses. And I'll probably warm up my drilling with this piece of block here and the probe to measure the depth of my drilling. And of course the mask and the gloves and my drill. So today we'll be drilling a few of these shapes. I think the heart here, this thing, this thing, this thing. And after these guys, we are being assessed on this shape. So this is actually for marks which I'm kind of nervous about because Last day I didn't do so well, as you can see, the circle has a jagged outline. So I kind of had a rough start last day and then kind of improved, if you will, on these two. So hopefully I can continue that trend. We'll see how it goes. So today I'm really going to try to focus on my ergonomics because last day after my drilling, um, my back and neck or it was terrible to be honest with you. So just up to the 4.5 millimeter mark, which is uh, just up to this red line here. Guys, so if you're a first year student watching this and you're just starting on drilling, here are a few tips you might find helpful. So number one is always um, try to have a stable finger rest here, like this, with your ring finger. And also try to keep your drill, okay, pretend this is the drill. Always keep it straight and not, you know, leaning to the side like that. Starting to see the red, a few nicks here and there. It's a lot deeper than I thought, but it's taking a long time. Oh. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> did you get your mask? Uh, because you just gotta keep like what I did. But I kept going and I kept like making fun. Move on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is my final product. So obviously I'm not proud of it. You can see I over drilled here. And the floor is very jagged. So I'm just gonna get this one assessed by my supervisor and um, I learn from what I did wrong and hopefully move on. They gorging like this. Please try to put the finger rest more firm and make the wall a little bit more smooth. All right, guys. So I just got my shape assessed. So basically, the black ink is my reflection of my shape, and the red is my supervisor's. So apparently, I had the correct depth and a little bit of overextension because um, I cut through the outline a little bit, as you can see. And the walls are pretty rough, but they were vertical, which is good and defined. And the floor was apparently flat. I don't think it was, but um, the rough floor, I could smooth it out a little more. Um, so overall, uh, lots of things to improve on. How's it going, Chris? Going great. Oh, bro, look at his godly hand skills. I don't think I'm going to put that to the screen. It takes practice. It takes practice. Okay. 
I just finished my last one, and I think this is the best one yet. Uh, I just took my time. I also left some room for smoothening out as well, so I think that helped satisfy the supervisor and call it a day. Alright guys, so I just got my walk well, checked by my supervisor, and uh, the only issue was that it was quite deep. It was supposed to be 2 millimeters, but I drilled 3 millimeters, so obviously I wasn't following the instruction. But she said that if I had drilled 2 millimeters, I would have received 6.5 out of 7. So I was really happy with that. Huge improvement. I was feeling really, really nervous and anxious after the first two. You know, I think it's just really about practicing and uh, just never giving up and just keep swimming. Sit back with this pack of zigzags in this bag at this week.